That fucking helicopter almost landed on me. Holy shit. Hello, guys. How are you? We are back with me, but I am going to be uploading this to my Inferno Shadowblade 95 channel because this game is in beta. Beta. So what we have here, we have Machete, and welcome to Back for Blood. Beta. And with me I have my good old best friend, uh, Ray, also known as DX. He is playing S-Mod, so, yeah. And I am. I will be making videos of this game, uh, so, yeah. So this was the machete, I'm gonna move on on the next weapon, um, next melee weapon, probably, uh, the bat. What the fuck? Not the bat. I, I said the bat, not the axe. Ray, are you still there? Yep, I'm here. Okay. The, the bat is interesting because it has yeah. nails on it. Nails on it. Uh, kind of like, uh, what was his name from Walking Dead? Uh, Megan? <laughs> Negan, yeah. Even though I, oh, I shit. I'm not a big Walking Dead guy, so because one, how the infection actually is like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, by the way, I said oh shit, and apologies for doing that, but I found the shovel. It's in the hidden Vortigaunt cave, with the singing Vortigaunt. <laughs> he is also known as the All-Knowing Vortigaunt. Yeah, yeah. the All-Knowing Vortigaunt, that's right. That, that's that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. That, that's what he's known as in the, in the actual game uh, from uh, the wiki. So, let's move on to the axe. Hello. <laughs> Eh, a little bit, a little bit straightforward. I like the axe, but I like the one in Left 4 Dead better. <laughs> the hatchet, a more small little axe, but everybody knows what a hatchet is. Too bad there's not a sword in this. <sighs> I'm sorry. There's no cortana, really? Hmm. That's, that's a bit of a shame. You think, honestly, you'd think there would be. But hey, fair enough. One of the uh, random weapons that you get, uh, if you run out of ammo and so, you can uh, use your fists. Oh, well, that makes sense. But if you have a, a card, it will allow you to use the uh, combat knife for the, uh, for the bash button. Nice, nice. Okay, what I just got right now, I got a frag grenade, so let's uh, bring this puppy out. You don't see this in Left 4 Dead, only pipe bombs, bio bombs, and molotovs. Hmm. So, uh, let it rip. Watch out! Kaboom. Wow, I just heard that car window exploded. Now, classic Molotov, what you know of, of Left 4 Dead. You could throw this at the, you could throw this at the Raiden. The Ridden, not the Raiden. <laughs> shovel, no. let's fucking go. Oh, I love the shovel. Thing's so good. I just overshot that. Or not. Uh, apparently that I just lit my ass problem. on fire. Ow. <laughs> I almost Hello, all on fire, right? All right, let's get one of the uh, guns, the Tech Nine. Tech Nine, ooh, okay. Yeah, this Good is gun. actually better than the uh, one in uh, Cash Strike, by the way. <laughs> I would hope so, honestly. One, it's automatic. 
Oh, like like the actual gun. Yeah, okay. That's cool. yeah. At least I think the actual Tech-9 is automatic. I don't remember. No, it is not. It's semi in uh, global offensive. Mm. Now, this weapon doesn't have any recoil, which I actually like. But you can still add the uh, attachments to it to make it more better. Make it less recoil heavy. Mm -hmm. you, see, gotta, you got a compressor, a, uh, a suppressor, and a uh, long barrel. We got a laser sight, we got a reflex sight, we got a, a SOG sight, and a hollow sight, and a high zoom scope. And then you got the stocks. Securing the storm doors later. There is one, two, three, four, five stocks and uh, mags that you can use for your weapons. Now I usually like I usually like to pick an extra extended mags to have more ammo in case of a huge firefight of a horde that is coming at me. So yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. So this is Honestly, the, uh, I agree with that. <laughs> that was the Tech-9, and, and we got the, a, a Belgian. Mm. The Belgian is a sawed-off shotgun. An old mm. kind. That has two hammers on each side. Hmm. Okay. Now... If I come across this bad boy and I have another weapon in my inventory, another gun that is either a sniper or an assault rifle, I'll probably have this bad boy uh, ready. Fair. Very fair. <clears throat> now, let uh, let us bring on the, uh, the stock and... Uh, apparently, I can't use the uh, extended mags, so I have to use the uh, fast AP mag, the fast HP mag, which actually brings out more HP, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'll fully <laughs> test out the uh, the actual things on actual riddens or slash zombies or infected. You can call them whatever you want. But that is the Belgian. Now let let us bring out one of our favorite weapons from Half-Life and <laughs> the 357 Magnum. Yes. Yes. I don't even know what it looks like and I'm already pleased. Now the three now 357 is like its uh, Python counterpart. Almost, but um, let us see how well I can shoot it. Ooh, that was a good headshot, yeah. With the iron sight. Yeah. Now that was a miss. Now whenever you're not iron sighted on the uh, target, you will probably miss. But you have to aim really well on these things. Now, if I want to, I can bring out the uh, look from Half-Life 1. Laser sight. Mmm. And... In the death map. <laughs> fucking scope on it is ridiculous. <laughs> A scope? Bro. That is ridiculous. I guess I could bring out a freaking uh, Asog sight on it. Um, let us bring out a penetrator damage to it. Fuck, that'd be fucking weird if having a silent sir on the fucking magnum. Yeah, that does seem a little, a little much. I don't even think you can do that in real life, or there wouldn't be a point to do it because of how the gas works. 
Now we got uh, almost the full uh, image of Half-Life 1's Magnum. Now I'm not missing because of the laser sight. Well, sort of. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a good weapon. Now let us move on to our next competitor, the Adeagle. Ooh. Yes, the one I have used in this game already. It is part of the Magnum family, but a little bit different in the Magnum family. But it's in the category of its own, guys. I'm using 50cc. 50cc. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, laser sight and uh, suppressor. <laughs> you know what? Let, let us bring out the uh, classic uh, laser sight duo uh, for the Deagle for for a little bit. <laughs> This kind of duo for the for the Deagle is actually based on of Half Life One Opposing Force. Now the Deagle is almost sort of like its counterpart of uh, in Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> Ray knows I'm right. Mm, I believe. Now let us put on a stock on it and a an extended magazine. And look at that, we got a, f a powerful deagle sort of, and it's silenced. Now I feel like fucking um, 47. <laughs> Yes, so satisfied. Let us move on to the next pistol. The Colt. The M1 1911. There you go. Left 4 Dead style, boys. Left 4 Dead style. Should come to the world, though. <laughs> now, normally you don't have to use the. Uh, the uh, attachments for the for this weapon. So let's move on to another pistol, uh, the Beretta Burst. This uh, Beretta M9 is a version of Beretta that allows you to uh, burst fire. If you are not aware, uh, please look up uh, the weapons in, from the game of the real-life counterparts. Yeah. What he said. Now, I'm a weapon person because I played a lot of freaking shooter games and uh, a lot of other games over the years that has freaking weapons in them. So, it's kind of hard what is my favorite weapon sometimes. But for zombie games, it is shotguns. Because they do so much damage. <laughs> now let's go with the original uh, Beretta. This is sort of like the one that um, uh, Chris Redfield uses. Let's <laughs> mm. have a different name for uh, Resident Evil. Yeah. Now let us bring out the. Yeah. Let us bring out a another pistol, which is the one of the weapons of the Glock family. The Glock 23 Auto. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fucking insane. Oh. <laughs> now that is the Glock. 23 auto, let us fire the uh, ruler Glock 23. Now, if you guys like using the Glock in other games, then uh, this is the weapon for you. 
Now let us get to my favorite toys. <laughs> now this is a TAC-14. It is a shotgun. Ooh. But it fires three shells only. Hmm. Now if you give it a extended mag, it will fire four shells. It's not a very good shotgun, because it carries three uh, shotgun shells for capacity. Right. Now, let's go a little bit a little bigger with the uh, shotguns, the AA-12. Whoa. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, the AA-12 is iconic in other games, such as uh, Killing Floor. Yeah, that's a good pick. Now, I don't know how many games the A12 is in, but uh, mostly I know it's in uh, Killing Floor. Right. Now, let us go with another shotgun, um, the 800, the 870 uh, Express. It kind of looks like a Mossberg, but mm. it is a 12 gauge. Kind of reminds me of the ones in Left 4 Dead and uh, Counter Strike. But enough about this shotgun. Let's go with my one of my most favorite shotguns. <laughs> the uh, Super uh, 90, Ooh. which is the auto, the auto shotgun from Left 4 Dead. Hell oh, yeah, it's... Well, Gordon Freeman, and about time, too. Now, the, uh, this weapon is mostly iconic in the Left 4 Dead series, because it's also the most overpowered shotgun in the game, in the first game. In the, uh, second game, it's not that overpowered, but it's still pretty good in the game. Yep, it's still really strong. <laughs> Just yes. not overpowered, like in Left 4 Dead 1. Okay, let us go to SMGs. First up, the Uzi. SMG, baby. I'm, I'm still not a big fan of the Uzi, but it, it still works pretty well. That's fair, honestly. But it's very fucking handy on Left 4 Dead 1, so I will give it that. <laughs> I will give it that. Now, next up on the, uh, on the, uh, SMPs is the UMP. Let me just say this. Let me just warn you all. Fucking replay is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> now, let's, uh, let's just add a little something to it. Ba -ba -ba. You still there, by the way? Yup, I am. Very good. Just uh, listening to Alex. Uh, Alex, oh god, I'm stra stra fucking stroking out. Just listening to Alex blabber on about the gravity gun. Oh yeah, a adding attachments to the UMP. Just like making spaghetti. Yeah, what he said. Next up, the vector. Ooh. Yeah, this is what interested me. The vector is in that's, the game. That's cool. It's a good, it's a good pick, honestly. It's a good zombie gun. Weapon. Very incredible. I enjoy the vector very much. Yeah, I, uh, I know, I, uh... Of course, I know that gun from other games, but I remember it the most because of Killing Floor 2. It's really fucking good in that game, from what I remember. Yeah, um, now if you haven't played Killing Floor 2, go play it. If you know where the, if you've seen the Vector in other games, go play them. Compare the, compare the gun with those variants of that weapon. What? Next up of the SMGs is the MP5. I just found the Singularity Generator, by the way. I thought this thing was removed. 
Oh. Nice. It's in a different spot compared to where it normally is. But yeah, MP5 still fucking good. Oh yeah, MP5 is amazing. Oh, you just have to work on the aim uh, if you're going to be firing it. I already showed off the shotguns, but uh, I'm gonna show off one uh, weird ass gun. It is a sniper rifle, but it acts like a fucking shotgun sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah? The way it <laughs> fires. Because whenever you start to pull the bolt out, it'll sound like you're ejecting a shotgun shell. Hmm. But le let's make this into an actual sniper rifle. Oh, hey, That's the bowling pins are here. Ooh. Nice. But I don't. Uh, I don't have a bowling ball. It's an F in the chat, honestly. <laughs> wish I had some. I wish I had a bowling ball so I could knock the pins over. Oh well. Now we now have a full-on sniper rifle. Oh yeah. Now here's the thing guys, if I'm ever using a sniper rifle in a game, you might want to be careful. Cause you know, Look out guys, he's an epic gamer. <laughs> it, it, it's just a fair warning. Um I'm I'm not that an epic gamer if I'm like rusty with the sniping. Fair but enough. I, but I can still nick you. <laughs> uh -huh. If you're not too careful. Like, um, if I'm playing Halo, I will get you. Oh, there is a bowling ball! Ooh. Okay, ignore me. Sorry, I got excited about a bowling ball. Mm. <laughs> the things that excite me. But, um, yeah, um, let's go with assault rifles now. The scar. If you guys remember the uh, Lever Dead's variant, which is called the Combat Rifle, the scar is still fucking good. Even though the is it a three-round burst like the one in Lever Dead, or is it a full automatic? Full automatic. automatic, and it's amazing. Good stuff. That was the scar. Now let us move on to the M16. <laughs> not a fan of this. Oh, really? I'm not a fan of this version. Oh, why so? One, it's a three burst. Oh no, they made that one the three round burster. All right. Yep. And the recoil is sometimes a uh, suckish. What a shame. Now, let me just add some attachments and see if that does anything for it. So... Boom and boom. Damn it! Ooh, that sort of made a difference. Yeah, whenever I'm zoomed in with the uh, iron sights, I'm fucking good with it. Alright then. Now let's go with the next assault rifle. The AK. Oh. <laughs> AK nice. 47. Now, if you're moving, it makes it very hard to use the assault rifle, so you might want to be careful. Now, a good weapon that is for moving is shotguns. Because you don't have to worry about a thing. Makes sense. Ow. AK-47, very high powered, <laughs> just like its Left 4 Dead variant. Now let us go with the most epic of the assault rifles, the M4 Carbine. Ooh. Same one that you can see in in half run. So you can shoot this really well while moving. So, I would say this might be the assault rifle for you if you're moving. Makes sense. 
Now this weapon you will see in the military, in the US military, a lot more often than any other weapon. But the US Army will use other weapons as well. If you don't even realize. <laughs> right. Now the weirdest uh, assault rifle I can say is the ranch rifle. Don't don't ask questions. I do not know. The ranch. It Ram fire. ranch it rifle. Fire like an actual assault rifle. So I do not know. Yeah. Oh, nice job, citizen! You walked into me as I was swinging at something, and I killed you. <laughs> Dumbass. Now let us go with the M1A sniper rifle. Now, this design of the weapon has the shape of the M1 Garand. Now let us give us a now let us give it a scope, a silencer, and uh, uh what is a good stock? Uh, compression stock. Let's do that and uh, more penetrating power. <clears throat> oh, this is not going to be fun. Time for Ravenholm. Fast everybody's sword. favorite chapter. And by everybody, I mean a majority of people. I imagine there are some people who don't like Ravenholm. Mm. Yeah, it's not like the one uh, fucking area whenever I scroll like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Now let us go with the big boy sniper rifle. Or you want me to move on to the machine gun. Like machine guns here. <laughs> big boy sniper rifle. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the Barrett. <clears throat> big boy. Mm -hmm. Now let's give it an actual scope. And a laser sight. Because why not? And a really gave barrel. me a hint to use night vision glasses. I am not using the fucking night vision. Night vision hurts my brain. And more, more AP power. Oh, oh, oh. Head crabless head crab zombies. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Just like I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Boys, oh, dear. you might want to run if I'm using this oh. right now. Fucking uh, creeping. Because here's the thing, I would just fall in love with this weapon really quick. Because I have in other games. Oh, there's a, there's a crow that's stuck in the wall. Why am I not surprised? Oh yes, yes. More, more. Anyway, next gun. <laughs> before I get out, before I get sidetracked. <clears throat> now the Barrett um, is a f uses 50 cal ammo. Very, oh very strong. So. <laughs> Might want to be careful if it puts a bullet in you. Definitely. Now, what we got here of one of the uh, light machine guns, we have the RPK. I'll tell you. Recoil. Well, if you know how to aim it, then it's good. Alright, that is the RPK. It is the light machine gun that looks like a AK-47, but it oh is my. not. But let's go with the iconic light machine gun that we all know and love, the M249. M249? Now, this is the weapon I used on the Ogre uh, when I first started playing this, so uh, yeah. Let us uh, light up that car. The 
Here we go. It is destroyed. Girl. Ow, ow. Fire. Hot. Oh. I found the flamethrower! It's in the same good. spot as it is in Redux version 8. Up in the, the little uh, ceiling thing in the first building in Ravenholm. Very nice. Fire, fire, fire! I'm gonna need these crates. Damn. They Fuck out of here, zombie. They turn Punch that bitch in the face. Fort Knox. <laughs> well, that's how handy humans are, I guess. Now, this is the M249. It is very iconic in all other FPS games. It is also iconic in Half Life Opposing Force. Oh, Flamethrower got nerfed. Ooh. Only has 150 fuel instead of 300, like in Redux version 8. Now, let That's fair, honestly. Let us go over here. Now, it's nice to see the old model back. Now, if we go over here, you, ah. we will uh, start meleeing with our fists. Yeah, what he said. But if you have a card, you will start using the combat knife uh, with the dash attack, which I will show right here. And that will be it for this video. Now, if you have your bash key bound to something, bound to something. I hope it's bound. So, uh, you better keep it in mind. If you're used to a certain button, bind it huh. right now. Put myself on fire. This will knock away zombies away from you, but if you have the combat ah. knife, it will kill them. Bashing them is not out. very easy to kill them with. Makes sense, makes sense. Kind of like in Left 4 Dead. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of Back for Blood's weapons. Peace out, and keep on the stealth. Laters. And there will be more.